Good morning. It's Friday, November 8th. Yes. And uh, it's down into the teens again last night. Uh, tractors were in the shed this time, so hopefully things will start when I want it to. Um, spent uh, about the last 45 minutes or so uh, getting my cardio workout, shoveling grain in the top of the bins. Um, put in about another 15 minutes on the 42 foot, the new one, um, trying to get it leveled out, which in addition to the 45 minutes or an hour that I already spent, and then spent about 20, 25 minutes uh, on the 36 foot. Got it pretty good. I'm probably gonna try to do a little bit more, but was getting tired of shoveling corn. So um, right now we're gonna go uh, hook up the, or get the tractor started and hooked up to the Hineker stuff. Um, get the seed cart hooked to the toolbar uh, and hook things up and see what we've got exactly. I just bought that this spring and have not used it at all. Have not even had the electronics stuff hooked up for it. Um, so I don't really know if it works or not, but uh, we're going to try to use that to seed some rye, cereal rye cover crop, uh, and would really like to use that rather than the 15 foot drill because it will be much, much faster being a 30 foot toolbar. So we'll see how things go, but hoping to be able to do that, um, either get started late morning or early afternoon and be able to run halfway hard today um, because I've got some other stuff going on this weekend and it's supposed to get pretty cold uh, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday especially and we'd kind of like to get that done or at least started in a, a decent scale. So we'll see what we find and uh, report back. Well, attempts to start the tractor are so far futile. Um, got the block heater hooked up on it now, but it hasn't warmed up enough to get it started. So I've been kind of gathering up the stuff that I'm going to need to get the Hineker air drill going. Um, I've got the seed meters here that we need to get put back on the uh, seed tender portion, or the trailery thing. Um, and then we need to make new drive chains. Um, there's some stuff that comes out of the gearbox and a couple other chains that since it hadn't been used for a long time, all of them were super rusty. Um, so I got some new chain um, to uh, make new ones for those. Um, I think these are the others. Lizzie's hunting for mice back there. Um, there's a couple other things we need to work on. Um, need to get the thing hooked up and hook all the air tubes up to the toolbar. Um, need to set up our fancy uh, high-tech seed monitor here. Uh, basically just has blockage sensors, which are better than nothing. Um, we're missing a seed firmer on one row and one of the closing wheels, the bracket's bent. So I think probably I'm going to work on this bracket in the immediate term here and see if I can get that straightened back out. Should be straight across here instead of being bent clear down. Um, and uh, then kind of get things hooked up and see what we've got. There's a few other things that could use some attention, but probably aren't going to get it for right now, just in the sake of, or for the sake of uh, getting some cover crop on and also kind of just seeing if the whole thing is gonna work or not um, sooner rather than later. So. There's a couple of, or probably two or three, I think, gauge wheel tires that have some cracks in them um, that I would like to replace, but aren't really going to affect things very much as far as depth control. And for rye, it's pretty tolerant of adverse conditions anyway. So as long as we can kind of get it spread out on the soil or get a little bit of soil contact, probably whenever it gets warm enough, it won't go ahead and try. Um, but that's where we're at right now. Uh, probably got a couple hours, I would guess, of working on the drill before we're actually ready to do much with it. Um, so as soon as we get the tractor fired up, that's going to be sort of the main project for today and hopefully seeding some cover crops this afternoon. Well, things are not going as quickly as I had hoped, but we're out here after lunch and about to put this thing in the ground and see what happens. Um, getting it hooked up to the tractor turned out to be more of a project than I hoped it would be. Uh, mostly screwing around with the tractor with the uh, three-point adjustment stuff all being frozen up um, and then had a few things to work on on the actual toolbar. Um, we're going to kind of drag this through the stocks a little bit and see how it seems to be working. Um, kind of try to get the bar level and approximately the right height and see if we're cutting in okay on everything. Um, and then as long as it looks like we can kind of make that part work then we'll hook the seed wagon piece up to the back of this and then get everything else hooked up with the meters and the tubes and stuff and uh, try to put some seed in the ground later this afternoon hopefully 
but this is going to be the inaugural run, so we'll see what happens here. Looks like the blades are in the ground, so that's important piece number one. They're pretty rusty, so I don't know how well they're cutting in, but I think it'll be fine for rye. Looks like we're maybe, I don't know, half an inch or so, which actually should be pretty decent. Um, we just kind of want to get stuff underground, or at least some soil contact, um, and then whenever it's warm enough and uh, some moisture, the seeds will germinate and start growing, and then go dormant when it gets cold or whatever. Um, I don't know if we're in. It might just be some irregularities in the field that certain grow units are pushing down harder than others. Overall though, it seems like we're making a slot at least, um, which is kind of what we wanted to check on. And Not sure if we're getting the wing wheels in all the way, or the wing row units. Um, there are spots to put weights on the wings. Uh, I was hoping to not have to do that, but we may. I think I have some more adjusting to do, but we're getting there. Nothing terribly bad happened here, other than we were kind of dragging a seat sensor wire. Um, tubes are obviously still sort of tied up to the back here so I'm probably not going to do this too much just because I don't want to screw anything up rubbing against those closing wheels and stuff but I wanted to try this out before I got the seed wagon hooked up to the back uh, in case there was anything major that I had to mess with but I think for the most part we have some adjusting to do but we're getting there well, you may notice that we are inside a machine shed, and it's dark outside. Um, we got the uh, stuff pretty well ready to go, but by the time we did so, it's dark. I don't even know if I'm showing up in the video. Um, <coughs> we did get some rye into the uh, seed cart part, but uh, it's dark. So it's going to be hard to tell how things are working, and since this is a totally new machine to me, um, it's going to be a fight for another day. So clearly I greatly underestimated the amount of work involved in getting this all hooked up and ready to go to the field, um, but such is life. It is what it is. We'll deal with it Monday or whenever it gets warm enough to try to do something in the field. Actually, maybe Sunday afternoon, um, if I can get back down here, we'll try to get some rye in the ground. Um, before it freezes up and then the end of the end of next week doesn't look too bad so hopefully we'll get on uh, at least some I don't know if I'll get done everything that I wanted to but do what we can and it'll be what it'll be